play a little game, my friend. I will recite a very well-known tongue twister for you in four different styles, four different ways of speaking. And I would love for you to listen carefully and find which of these four sounds more like you. What do you think is most natural for you? Is it one, two, three, or four? And then remember that number. Write it down if you have to. Now, the first one is, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Then the second one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And then the third one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And then the fourth one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Now, you heard four different speaking energies. Fire, water, air, and earth. When you go on a podcast and you want to share your story, share your message, you don't want to just speak with that speaker that you've heard or this one, someone that you think is the best way of, of expressing yourself. Because you have your own style. You have your own energy. And you present it. You express it. You speak with it. And that is the best way of sharing your story. So I want to go deep into each of these four styles, each of these four speaking energies, I call them. And please listen and try to understand which one sounds like you, which describes your way of expressing yourself. Now, the first one, if you remember, it was fire. It's enthusiastic. It's emotional. It's fast. It's intense. All these people are extroverts. That is me. I am fire. And we love speed. We love to speak fast and we love to listen to other people speak fast. Sometimes this intensity could be even too much, but that's who we are. That's our superpower. And the best examples would be Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Marie Forleo, Gary V. Now, the second one is water. It's melodic and it's flowing. It's rhythmic and it's flexible. When you think about the element of water, you remember that it can be in three different states. It can be water, liquid, gas, and solid. It's the only element that has this feature. So water, we say, is has this flexibility. It's the most balanced energy. It's moderate. It's not too much, and it's not too little. And people with this energy, they can speak in the most balanced way. It's Barack Obama. Steven Spielberg, uh, not Steven Spielberg, it's Steve Jobs, Barack Obama. Think about Martin Luther King. It's this melody, like a song. Lisa Nichols. Now, let's talk about the third one. That's air. These people speak with this soft and gentle energy. It's weightless. It's, it's like flowing and flying in the air. When you listen to them, you start feeling peace. You, you feel this calmness. All these people, I would say, are introverts. Some of them are even shy, or maybe they used to be shy. But their superpower is in this introversion, in this calmness. The representatives are Steven Spielberg, Seth Gordon, Warren Buffett, J.K. Rowling. Now, these this is the third one. Now let's talk about the fourth one. The fourth one is earth. It's grounded. It's deep, persuasive, emphatic. People with this speaking energy, some of them are extroverted, but I would say most of them are introverts with very well-developed communication skills. They have passion. They have belief. They can convince you. They can persuade you. It's like every word falls heavy on the ground and you listen to them, they know what they're talking about and you can see it. The examples are Winston Churchill. I would say that that is the best example is Winston Churchill. We would say Simon Sinek, Brene Brown, Oprah, Margaret Thatcher. 
let me tell you a secret. In my 20s, I really wanted to have this earth speaking energy only because my best friend expressed herself that way. That was her. And I thought that that was the only way you show your power and your charisma because she was, see, that time, it was 2004, I was still trying to find myself. And Maya, my best friend, she's eight years older than me. And she is this strong personality, very powerful. She speaks with such persuasion, such logic that you can't ever break it or even doubt it. She can convince anybody. And I really wanted to be like her. I thought that that is what I wanted to build in myself, to become to be poised, always composed, even reserved. And I started molding myself into that. But that wasn't me. It wasn't who I was. I developed some of those qualities and, and it's good. Yes, I still have them. But I had to suppress some other features, some other traits that actually are my superpower. And now I understand that. And maybe when you listen to different speakers, you think, I can't do that. I'm not like them. I'm more introverted. I'm more quiet personality. Or maybe you're like me and you're thinking, oh, I'm too much. I'm a little bit crazy. I want to be calm and reserved, but I'm just, people think that I'm too much and too enthusiastic, too emotional. See, whoever you are, whatever your style is, that is powerful. That's beautiful because that is you. That's how you express yourself. And I want you to find it. I want you to understand what your speaking energy is. Just don't take too much long, too much time. Because see, for me, that happened when I was, when I just started my business that was in 2016. And I worked with lots of different coaches and multiple mentors. That's when I realized I was trying to be not myself. I was wrong about who I wanted to be. And I finally saw my own power. I finally understood what was that beautiful thing that I needed to develop in myself and how I needed to express myself. But what was even more fascinating is I worked with lots of clients all over the world. I helped them with their public speaking skills. So I listened to their speeches. I needed to listen to them to evaluate and help them with this. And I saw that all of them were unique in their way of expressing themselves. Some of them tried to speak like Tony Robbins. Let's say they had a very quiet personality, calm way of speaking, but they thought that the only way to, to express themselves was to be like Tony Robbins. And it was fake. We both could see it. And we discussed it and we understood. And that's when I got really interested. I started researching this topic and I found these four speaking energies. I listened to lots of speakers, not just my clients, but also well-known and famous ones. And I saw that there are these four styles of expressing yourself that I connected with four elements. And when you try to find, not try, when you find, when you actually understand who you are, how you speak, that's when you show your whole power. That's when you embrace it and understand it. Because see, we are all different. We should not all be like this one person. We shouldn't all speak like Tony Robbins or Winston Churchill. We have our personality, our speaking energy, our voices. Think about choir. In the choir, we have four different voices. We have sopranos, we have altos, we have tenor and basses. They are all different. They are all absolutely unique. But when they come together, this is the unison. They create the harmony of a beautiful melody. It's the same with us. You have your own style. You express yourself in a unique way. And find it, understand it. Don't try to be someone else. Don't copy someone. Be the original. So my question to you right now, who are you? Are you fire, water, air, or earth? And see, this is not your element or your sign. It doesn't depend on when you were born. It is your personality, but it's also it's your way of expressing yourself. It's based on your personality, but it's your way of speaking. It's your speaking energy. So define it first. 
Then second, I would love for you to develop it. And then finally, demonstrate it. Demonstrate it. Share it with the world so that we all together, sharing our stories and our messages in these different unique ways, could bring more harmony to the world.